Hey there. So what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to show you how to set up your Facebook Business Manager. And this is quite essential to have when you're running campaigns for e-commerce or really any other type of business that you have. So first thing you're going to do is go to business.facebook.com. And once you're there, just create, a, uh, click on Create Account and just follow the on-screen instructions. And once you've done all that, you're going to be logged into your Business Manager. So basically your business manager looks like this. So what you'll do is you'll just come up to the three wee lines and you'll see you've got a lot of different settings in here. Um, some of them we don't use, some of them we do use, and we'll be going over um, some of the other settings and some other videos. The first thing we're going to show you how to do is set up your pixel, create an ads manager, and set up your billing for it, and how to also add your pages in there. You don't need to add your pages in there as long as you're an admin. It's going to show you anyway when you go to create your ads, the pages that are available to run ads. And it's usually ones you're either admin or moderator on. So first thing we're going to do is let's go down to Pixel. So click on that. And then you're going to be taken to this screen. And it's going to show you all your different pixels you have. So you'll see we've got our pixels here. Sorry. Got to kind of hide these because I can't really be sharing out what our pixel IDs are. <laughs> so what we're going to do is if we just go to add data source and click on Facebook pixel. Now in here you're just going to name it whatever you want. Um, something that's going to relate to the ad account is what I usually do. So whatever I name the ad account, I'll name the pixel or whatever I name the pixel. I'm going to name the ad account that I'm going to associate with that. Can be a store name, whatever you want. So what you're going to do is just click Create, and it's going to take you to the next screen. So what we're going to do here, once it loads, is you're just going to click on the manually install the code yourself. Okay. So once you click on that, come down here and turn on automatic advanced matching. Okay. And then just click Continue. Now here's where you want to add in the different stuff that you want. So you want view content, initiate checkout, add to cart, and purchase. These are all the things that you want for your Facebook Pixel. So once you've done that, you come down here and you're going to see install Pixel Helper. So this is a, a wee Chrome extension that will really help you. So I suggest that you go on that and you actually install it. And what it's going to do is it's going to let you see if your Pixel is installed correctly within your store or website. So that is really handy. So you grab that while you can. And once you've done that, just click on done. And basically that's it all set up. So what you are going to do now is you're going to add the pixel to your Shopify store. So see this here, this is your pixel ID. So you need this here, right? So let's just copy that. Go up here, we'll make a new tab. And we're going to log into our store. So once we get into there. Okay. So once we're in there, what you're going to do is you're just going to come over to the left hand side and click on online store. Come down to preferences. Now, this is if you're installing the Pixel in Shopify settings. You can also use some apps for that, and we'll actually mention some of the apps you can do that with um, later on in another video. But right now, we're just going to show you how to do it here. So you see I've had one in here before, so let's just delete that. So what you're going to do is paste in this ID here. So just make sure the last of it is correct. So 9697, 9697, then click on Save. Now this is where I was saying about the pixel helper as well. So if you just click this wee eye, okay, and then you're going to see up in your browser that you're going to see it comes up next to pixel helper, either two or three uh, wee icon, and it just is how many pixels you've got. So you're just going to click on that. You're going to get a drop down, and here you can see that is definitely our pixel, 9697. Looks as if it's all fine and fine. So we know then that it's installed correctly. 
So the next thing that we're going to go on to is how to add an ad account. So click up again, up the three wee lines. Okay, let's come over to business settings. Okay, now once you're in there, on the left hand side of the menu, you'll come down to where it says add accounts. Click on add accounts, click add. Now do you want to add an ad account, request access, or create a new ad account? So these are different things. So request access to an ad account is maybe if you're working with somebody else and you've got a partner, you can actually request access and, and they'll get a notification saying, hey, somebody wants access to your ad account, are you going to allow it? This one, it's basically, it's, if you had a personal ad account, then you could click on that and it's going to import your old ad account. And personally, I would say, don't bother doing that. Let's just create a brand new ad account and start everything fresh. So create a new ad account for your business. So let's click on that. So let's name the ad account. So as I says, Remember I've done it, KP's Pixel, KP's other account. So, what we're going to do here is, you need to choose what time zone you want. So, we keep it to the America time zone. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is we do advertise in America, so it works out better for us. Two, when this resets, the ad account resets at midnight, that's a good time to start launching your ads. And that is usually around about eight, nine o'clock UK time in the morning. So it's perfect for us when we get into the office, we're able just to launch ads right away. And we know we've got the full day ahead for our ads to run and we're not launching ads maybe six, seven o'clock at night. So that's good for us. But really, if you're just going to advertise in the UK, then just pick UK time zone. Or if you're just, you know, it depends where you're doing it. So it is a personal preference. So US dollars, we want this in US dollars because we're selling in the US, our stores in US dollars, and it gives us an easy way we can see our, how our margins are and how much our price per purchase is, and if it's matching to how much we're selling for and what our margins are. So again, if you're just selling in the UK or Europe or somewhere like that, you'd do Euros or you would do uh, British Pounds. So once you've done that anyway, let's just create an account. So basically that's the ad account set up. So now you can actually add people to this ad account. So what this means is this is people you've added into your business manager and who can then access that ad account and work on it. So do you want this person to be an admin? Yes, of course we do. So we'll just add that, save changes. That's that. So that should get your ad account. So here it is here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually add a payment to this ad account as well. So as you can see, there's a wee link to view payment methods. Let's just click on that. So here we have where you just set up your payment methods. So let's just go into add payment method. And you're going to get two different ways or three coupon we don't use. So credit card or PayPal, whatever one suits you best, we use credit card. So basically that's all you're going to do in there. Click continue, save, job done and that's all done for you okay so the other thing that we're going to show you is how to add different things into it okay so let's just add people in so where is it again do, 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 do. people ah, settings so just up on the top left hand side yep, I was meant to click business settings isn't it? business settings so up here, you're going to see for people. Now, if you're adding people in or adding any type of thing in, it's always going to be up in this box here, and it's going to be a wee plus sign with add. So just click on that. And there's different ways that you can set them. Are you going to give them full admin access? Yes, depends who you're, you're setting up. Or is it an employee and you're only going to give them certain options? Down here, these kind of ones, uh, they can go in and analyze your account, as it says, for invoices, whatever. So what you're going to do in there is just put in their email address. All right. And once you've done that, you're just going to go next. 
So in here it's going to ask you, would you like to add Joe Blogs to any pages? So if you had a page there, you would add them. So add accounts, yes, we want to put this on this one. So again, you want to give them an admin role. So click on that and invite. I'm not going to click invite because I don't know whose email address that is, so we'll just leave it <laughs> and we'll close it down. Now here's another one. So you can actually add other people in, uh, actual business managers in, so you can do that in here. So if you go to partners, then let's click on add. So what you would get then is their business ID. So their business ID is the same one, uh, the same thing that you would see in yours, whatever your business ID, you can see in the URL, it says business underscore ID equals in a big long number. And that's where they would get their ID and they can give you it and you would just put it in there and do the exact same thing. So the other thing that you can also do is add your Instagram account. So what you can do is just go in here and go add, log into your Instagram account and then follow on screen instructions and that's how you get your Instagram account. And you can also add in your pages. I don't actually do that. The reason being is because we use so many different business managers for different projects, but we may use the same actual Facebook page for different project projects as well. So we don't really add them into an ad account. As long as you're an admin or a moderator on that account, then everything will be fine for you. So basically that's everything that you need to know about inside the business manager at the moment just to get yourself up and running. So hopefully that helps you and gets you kind of started going right away. Okay, thank you.